um, for 1.4.2. This mod has come out um, not so long ago, maybe like, I can't remember, three days ago, I'm not sure. Um, it's for 1.4.2. So you don't leave, yeah. Else except the installer. So this is mod is pretty awesome. And I'm going to show you what to do in it and um, how to use it. So how to install it and a little bit of what you can do in it. So kind of a mod spotlight and tutorial mixed together. So what you're going to do first of all is come to the first link in the description, which is the Daisy mod in um, install it or zip. Um, so go to the exe and if you're a Mac user you're going to have to try and find um, the zip and the mod loader and forge and mp etc. Um, and then when you got it, drag it onto your desktop or wherever you want to do it. And before you install it, go to your Minecraft folder and delete your Minecraft. And guys, if it doesn't work and you haven't deleted your Minecraft, seriously, just delete it. If there's, if there's something amazingly valuable in there, just back it up and then delete it. I mean, because if you want to get this mod to work, you really have to delete it. Um, there are loads of other reasons why it wouldn't work, but if you don't delete your dot Minecraft, it's probably not going to work. Um, so delete the um, Minecraft. Shouldn't take too long. It's fairly quick. Um, and when that's done, you just want to click on your installer. So when that's done. Okay, so there, that's done. And then click on your installer. Press run and press install mod and you don't don't back your Minecraft up because you've already should have deleted it, and if not, then back it up somewhere. That's your chance to back it up before. And then you just let it install, and it doesn't take it takes it's pretty quick. And after this, I'm going to show you some cool things you can do in it, and ju yes, just some awesome stuff. Uh, so that's just going to take a couple of minutes extra, and you can just see what you can get, see if you like it. Um, it doesn't take long. This it's quick and f pretty fun so once you've installed it should say it's installed and then yeah x out your launcher or keep it open it's up to you the launchers will always come up with a little thing saying if this program is blah, 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 it doesn't matter it should have worked and if it hasn't then my advice is to keep it open next time you run it so you want to log in and it will come up with that and it should mean that's worked um, sometimes you'll get a little black screen like this at the beginning and then it'll go mojang. So just make sure you don't rage quit as soon as you see black, otherwise that's not going to work very well. Okay, so then you want to go into single player and if you're playing survival, survival. if you're playing creative, creative, but I'm showing you in creative simply because um, I need to show you what you can get. And the most important thing you have to do this, otherwise the mod is just going to be rubbish you won't get any zombies. You have to type change the world type to Daisy original or jungle. If you don't change it, you're not going to get anything because all the stuff in this mod you have to um find. You can't craft it. So you have to change it to the Daisy spawning world. Then also I wouldn't type anything in there because it might build it up. Um so then create your world. And it should be pretty quick, and then I can show you what you can do in this mod. There's 18 things added, 18 s kind of um, things you can extra things. Um, so there are randomly generated structures in this world, which are just like um, buildings, houses, like in Daisy. Um, I've got da Daisy properly because I've got armor two and stuff. Combined operations. So let's show you what you can do. So. Um, that's, is there anything in here? No, there's not. Um, let's just skip to all the amazing, really cool stuff. Okay, so in food, there's loads of um, new stuff. Um, those are all 1.4 things, but what you can get is you can get canned baked beans, can of spaghetti, um, can of beans again. I don't really understand that, but whatever. Can of sardines, chocolate bar, water bottle can of lemonade, uh, dirty water, um, I think there's the, uh, the France and, I can't say it, the, um, canned pasta or whatever, and the whiskey, so that's cool, and then you've got in your tools, you've got a book of matches, I, I don't know what the hell that is, and then you come to the amazing bit with all the cool stuff, so, you've got 
bandages which heal all your health you've got antibiotics that heal half of your health you've got a blood bag that I think heals all of it I don't know and then you've got all your guns you've got your melee weapons you've got your double barrel down the bottom and your camo armor so let's start with all the guns uh, Makarov shotgun Enfield lock and we have a double barrel down there and then we need to put all of our ammo so AK mag um Makarov one um then we need me 12 gauge slugs and then we need the 303 rounds which is I think, believe for the Glock now each of these is like a cartridge for your gun so a shotgun I think is like 6 or something I don't know and um I'm in um in creative so it'd be lost for ages so you do need to make sure you find your ammo in these randomly generated places so make sure you're on top of things I guess in the double barrel you'll get 4 rounds and that's just a guess though right so let's show you what these can do Okay, so actually, I'm going to spawn in some zombies. So, spawning eggs are these black ones here. So, you get bandits and you can get crawlers. Okay, so this is what you can do. So, second, just. Okay, so you can spawn in. Is that a zombie there? Okay, so you've got a zombie. I guess I have my sound now. It's a bit too loud. Uh, AK. It's rapid fire, you could just spray with it, so let's give you an example. There's a whole of zombies coming towards you, you not you don't know what to do, you pull out your AK and you can just spray them. It's a two shot kill. But it's um rapid fire so it doesn't really matter. It does use up a lot of ammo though. So next weapon is the Makarov. This has two shot kill, it's rapid fire, it's actually really neat. Um the sound is I like the sound of the Makarov. Um, then you've got the the other shotgun, the um, one that's just not the double barrel, the Remington or whatever it's called. This is one shot kill, and that is this is probably the best gun because it's one shot kill, so you don't need anywhere near as much ammo. Um, next one is a Lee Enfield, um, and it's kind of a rifle, so it's got long range. Which I guess is quite useful if you're up on a building or something, so I can shoot them from here for example. Um, it's a bit difficult because they do move a lot, but it should be two shot kill at decent range, maybe three at quite long range. So three from far range and it's probably two up close, I can imagine. And you can't just spray with it of course, so it's not exactly a rifle. But it's quite it's not very powerful okay so next one is a glock so oh sorry that's my double barrel um glock is three bullets kill so it's less powerful than the makarov i don't really understand the point in having a less powerful pistol but i guess the makarov is the better gun to find but this is probably one you'll get at the beginning and then you've got your double barrel which is I don't really know the difference between the two shotguns. Um, there doesn't seem to be much of a difference to me. The fire rate seems mostly the same, so there's just two shotguns you can get. So I'm going to chuck all those back and show you the melee weapons now. So with the melee weapons, you get a baseball bat, um, a nailed baseball bat, a wooden plank, and a nailed wooden plank, a pipe. Um, that's. Right, it. and I'm also going to. Is there anything else? No, that's basically it. So let's have a bandit. Okay, so these are probably more. So to kill a bandit with a baseball bat is three kill, and I believe it's the same. They all have all of the things have the same health. Uh, that's a bandit zombie. Yeah, it's all the same health, so it's fine. And there's the crawlers. I'll show you them. So they're like kind of weird things on the floor. They've lost their legs. Um, it's slightly difficult to hit them with the creative. Um, so that's the crawler. So that's your baseball bat, and then your nailed baseball bat. Oh, come here. Is two hit kill on a bandit. 
and on the zombie, I guess it's gonna be the same. Well, obviously not. Bandits have less health than zombies, then, so let's just test it on zombies. Plank, three, so they all seem to be three with a zombie. Um, with the bandits, it varies a bit, and the pipe is also three. Um, and that's about it. That brings us to the end of our tutorial. Um, so I hope you found this useful and um, you now want to get this mod because this mod is really awesome. Um, I'm going to play a bit of survival when I finish with the vid uh, video. So I hope you found this um, cool and interesting. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, and that's it from me guys. Wow.